everybody, I am back with my first video on miniatures painted for the Castle Ravenloft board game. In this case, we are looking at the spider. So pretty simple, not giant spider, but just spider. Um, I did these similar in, in concept to how I did the Ashardalon in that I, when I have three, I kind of made two ver you know, the same and one just a bit different. Um, in which case, you know, I made one of the spiders just a bit lighter than the other two. Um, these were pretty easy the way I did them. Um, I'll do a step by step. At the end of the video, I'll show stills with the paints that I used and just kind of like a progression throughout the models. But um, to start out, I'll just show a couple, or at least two of them, that are different close up. So I'll just do a turn here. Show the other guy here. So, mainly, you know, I used the airbrush to base paint on this, and then um, I did some highlighting underneath with a different color. So, in this case, it was like a bestial brown by Vallejo. And um, I then just did several sort of highlights and washes, and then dry brushes and washes. One thing you'll see on the video, there's a step towards the end where I highlight and then I put a wash on. I actually did that twice, even though I didn't show it. I, I actually highlighted sort of like the legs, and then I washed them, and even the body, and then I sort of highlighted again and washed again. And that's just sort of to get it to where I wanted to. You might notice that when you're doing your own painting, if you are if you paint miniatures, that sometimes you'll just do the same steps sequentially just to try to get an additive effect. Um, and so, yeah. So that is them, or that these are them. These are the uh, giant spiders from a Ashardalon. I like the way um, the legs came out. I like, you know, the way the light kind of comes on them. They, they look kind of spooky with that sort of the white almost kind of like white furry even though they're not furry this part's furry but I don't know I think it looks kind of good um, and then for the rest of the I could you know I, I mean like for the Warhammer stuff I do paint bases and, and actually put stuff on bases and things but for these just like in the Ashardalon game and to keep my game similar if I want to use the monsters together I, I, I'm painting all of them just black as so they have like a very board game kind of game piece feel so that is intentional and um, I'm not going to tr uh, paint them as sort of like the dungeon board itself to camouflage in it's just not the look that I went for initially and so yeah that these are the these are them I hope you like them and I will be back with more videos for Wrath of a Shirt a lot, or <laughs> Castle Ravenloft. I guess old habits are hard to uh, to die. So, okay, Happy New Year, everybody. Bye.